Star Wars 7x7 episode 2878. It's a What to Watch Now episode, and I think these might be the final videos that we get for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, so I thought I would flag them <laughs> and just talk about a couple of highlights because one of them is actually pretty cool. We have a full name now on our main Inquisitor baddie. Punch it! <laughs> Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, first of all, there is a video on the official Star Wars YouTube channel called A Series of Firsts. And it's an interview with Ewan McGregor where he's talking about his you know journey on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and you actually get to see behind the scenes footage of him choosing his lightsaber, which is just stunning. And there's other behind the scenes footage and it's primarily from the Phantom Menace, but there are contemporary moments where Ewan McGregor is talking about these experiences, and it's filmed in the same situation as when he did the announcement video where he talked about how the premiere was being delayed from May 25th to May 27th, but that there would be two episodes. Like, it's in that same setting, so it does make you think, like, hmm, they've probably filmed a lot more stuff with <laughs> him and it also makes you wonder whether they brought other people into there to do that sort of thing so yeah I'm just sitting here thinking okay this is all cool and I bet you we're going to be getting more of this kind of stuff and it's not just for the official Star Wars channel, apparently, that they did interviews there because that cover story that we talked about also has a video that was shot on that particular set, too. It's a video with Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen and Moses Ingram, and they talk about, you know, seven Star Wars questions. So they ask each of them seven Star Wars questions. There's one of them that, you know, I think the first one, Ewan McGregor doesn't actually get to chime in on for some reason, so that's unfortunate, but such is life. It's the question where they ask them, how would you describe your character? So yeah, I know we know who Obi-Wan is, but yeah, anyway. So we also find out in the introductions to that, that Reva is Reva Savander, S-E-V-A-N-D-E-R, and no, that doesn't show up on Wikipedia anywhere, so that's a brand new tidbit. They were, of course, corrupted Jedi, or at least a lot of the Inquisitors were, so this would be you know her actual Jedi identity, and I'm so curious to learn more about her character, and Moses Ingram, again, like just enjoying the heck out of her in these interviews. They also ask him how they first reacted when they found out they were cast in a Star Wars project, and for Hayden and Ewan, this goes all the way back to the prequel era stuff, which is fun. Then they also ask what unique challenges you faced when working on a Star Wars project, what Star Wars scene was the most memorable to shoot, how's the series, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, changed how you view Star Wars, uh, what's it like working in the volume, right, that you know, stagecraft virtual you know, studio space situation, and they all have wonderful things to say about it, and Moses Ingram has said in other, other interviews and Ewan McGregor has talked about it too, about just how green screen and tennis balls and all this stuff and just how different it is for the actors and that you don't have to imagine where you are. Like it feels like where you are and it feels so real that you almost can't tell where the floor <laughs> of the studio set stops and where the walls begin. And the last question they ask him is if you could meet one Star Wars character, who would it be and why? And Ewan McGregor says Jar Jar, and he says wonderful things and beautiful things about Ahmed Best and expresses appreciation for him. And I'll tell you, that was just such a beautiful, heartwarming moment. I mean, right up there with Hayden Christensen talking about how he found out he got the part for Anakin and him jumping around on his couch with his roommate playing pretend lightsabers and putting on Star Wars music, like just such good fun. So anyway, um, I will have links up for those in the show notes for this episode so you can check out both those videos. And that right there is going to do it for this What to Watch Now episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it. As always, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.